business is folding. California has been suffering from a serious drought. State health officials say 17 communities and water districts, mostly in rural areas, are now within 100 days of running dry. They've now imposed steep fines for people who break the rules against the use of water outdoors. In its worst drought since 1977. This place in Orange County is already the biggest water reuse treatment plant in the world. We consider wastewater not a waste, but a resource. This plant is very important to protecting the strategic reserves of water. If we didn't have this water, we wouldn't be able to pump as much out of the basin. We would have to import virtually all of our water. Well, we've been able to maintain fairly constant levels. Creating a virtually over time, a self-sustaining water supply. And it's going to get even bigger, which is a good thing, because California is in the middle of a historic drought. While we're standing right here, just to point out, we're kind of in the middle of the construction see, zone. Yes. Yeah, right off here is where we're expanding the facility. From 70 million gallons to 100 million gallons. Mm -hmm. So we're only about six, seven months away from having an additional 30 million gallons per day, and it'll provide an additional source of water for about 250,000 people. So it's very significant. It goes out two ways. Once, to form a natural barrier against salt water. The second is to replenish groundwater reserves. Water from this plant already accounts for 20% of the water recharging Orange County's groundwater reserves. Now that's crucial in this drought because California is draining those reserves rapidly and one day the water could run out. So you ask how bad this drought is and it's very bad. It may be the worst drought on record. With the possibility of climate change being very strong, this may end up being the new normal. The water from the sanitation district actually comes from the big blue pipe. Treated wastewater comes into the plant and goes through three separate cleaning and filtration processes. Right now, we're entering the microfiltration area. We're actually filtering water right now. That water is secondary effluent. Right now we're in the RO building or the reverse osmosis building. This is the second step in the treatment process. We're removing any dissolved minerals, viruses, or pharmaceuticals in the, in the water. We've basically taken everything out of the water. Shall we go for a dip? <laughs> so it's becoming an increasingly attractive option as California continues to go through these cycles of drought. In fact, it uses half the energy that it takes to move water from Northern California to Southern California, and about a third of the energy that it would take to desalinate seawater. I think it is inevitable that Californians are going to have to get beyond this notion of toilet to tap. We prefer showers to flowers. <laughs> I think we will see more uh, reuse of wastewater in California and throughout the West. So uh, we've seen how the sausage is made. Now let's see how it tastes. Okay, okay well I'm thirsty, so okay. my bed bottom chairs. Clink. <laughs> Yeah, maybe a slight aftertaste, but yeah, it's perfectly oh, it's, fine. I would drink this. Absolutely. <laughs> it's just a little different, and I would imagine people would get used to this. And now I'm having another soup. I've tasted the water. I feel fine. This water is totally safe to drink. But until California changes its rules, this water is not going to be coming to a tap near you. I, I believe in the state of California will be able to do direct potable reuse within about the next five years. We still don't have the regulatory framework that allows us to do direct potable. So we're working on it. Once people know more and more about uh, a project like this, a groundwater replenishment system, the more that they accept it. That's what recycled water gives you. It gives you that water supply reliability. We have control over this source of water. We have control over our own destiny.